Hi there. I'm sure that everyone here is uh, familiar with the Rhythmizer device from Future Phonics. It's a VST plugin and also a Max for Live device uh, that takes incoming note, chops it up in a smaller uh, segments, and can vary the, the length of the gate, uh, but also adds a certain rhythmical pattern and uh, changes the randomly changes the pitch of the notes. Uh, fitting them into given uh, scale and uh, and key, uh, so it's very useful for typical, let's say, uh, side trends, um, lead patterns, and so on. Uh, I figured that perhaps something like this this could be recreated in Bitwig, especially considering that uh, in version 4.1 uh, they have added a lot of uh, new MIDI devices, although here I'm only using two of them, uh, but but uh, they, they seem to be very useful for, for this uh, for this type of uh, thing. So I have I have created a very simple project. It's nothing you know serious, so please don't comment about the quality of the kick bass and, and so on or, or the mixing. That's not the purpose of it. And this is how it sounds like. So as you can see, I have a simple one note, uh, one bar note uh, pattern, which is repeating, uh, sorry, two, two bars uh, pattern, which is repeating uh, four times, nothing extraordinary. And it is being played by uh, two Bitwig uh, native devices. Uh, one is a, a, a subtractive synthesizer. The other is uh, fre frequency modulation uh, synthesizer, uh, and there is some randomness on the filter and, and some other parameters. Nothing, nothing really uh, important. So let's hide that because that's not the uh, the clue of the of the video. Um, here we have a, a device uh, that chops the the incoming note and, and and adds the pattern and moves the pitch. So it is using several Bitwig uh, native devices. At the end, we have a key filter which keeps it in C Phrygian. Phrygian is obviously uh, one of the, the most used um, Citrans uh, scales. Um, OK, uh, here I also have a additional track that records MIDI that is being generated uh, so that you could see what is, what is happening. So let's... Uh, Let's start this. So as you can see now there is a one a long note. Let's turn on the pattern. Uh, this is a simple uh, note repeats device, but it has a couple of interesting modes. And for this purpose, Euclid mode is, uh, is the best. Uh, because it generates uh, a pattern that um, that is repeating and, and uh, we have a lot of control, for example, on the density, so how many uh, notes is being generated. Uh, we can control how many accents we have. We can rotate the rhythm uh, to make it more interesting. And also we have, for example, control over chance, so how many notes uh, will actually uh, be uh, generated. Um, so yeah, that, that creates a pattern. Now another device uh, adds some variation to the length of the note, to the gate. So I simply use a note length device which modulates the, the length of the gate using the LFOs. And the last is the modulation of the pitch. Here I'm using a note selector which goes through several uh, layers of effects. Most of them are empty, so we are staying at the root node of the, of the node that we have in the pattern. But some of them uh, generate random 
very variability around the root note. So this one goes two octaves up or down. This one goes uh, an octave uh, up or down, and this one goes only up one octave. So we, we have some variation by adding and removing those layers. We can actually control uh, how uh, concentrated the, the new pattern is around the uh, root. And that's it. And it works pretty great. You can make it sparser. Obviously, at any time we can uh, simply stop it and you know find in this new pattern some uh, parts which we uh, find interesting and, and that we could somehow use use them uh, in our track. You know, chop out the interesting bits and so on. Normal uh, editing and, and arrangement. Okay. So thank you, I hope this was uh, useful and interesting.